I've spent the last six months using the free writing app Obsidian and it has completely transformed my learning. It can do the same for you and I'm going to show you how. This video is not sponsored by Obsidian. It is sponsored by Brilliant. More on that later. I've been learning the wrong way my entire life. I mean, I didn't realise it at the time. I thought I was doing it properly. It seemed to work for me. And then about six months ago, I started experimenting with different learning techniques and note-taking systems, which is when I discovered the free writing app Obsidian. This is the Obsidian website. Download it here, install, and you will see this. It doesn't look much, and if you're a first-time user, you could at this point easily decide it's not for you. Don't do that. Instead, create an empty vault in a location of your choosing. Call it what you like, it doesn't really matter. Mine lives in an Obsidian folder inside my Documents folder. Put yours anywhere. And then with Control N, this will happen. Your first note. I have a note here on Python, and this is where we start to see Obsidian strengths. In this note, I can link to other notes that I've written, which creates a note network that Obsidian will let me visualize like this. Now you see the advantages of Obsidian. It's your web of thoughts, ideas, research and readings, and it will be as transformative for you as the World Wide Web was, well, for the world. Here's why. When you write traditional notes, they're usually for a one-off piece of probably ephemeral work. If you do store them, they're all separate. Ideas from one set of notes can never connect with ideas from the others. They're locked up. With Obsidian, each time you write a note, you're adding to previous notes. Nothing is ever lost because it's all part of a network. Your network. Your network of knowledge. Traditional note-taking traps your creativity. Your notes could be full of hundreds of tiny insights unable to connect with each other. Obsidian frees them and allows multiple connections, creating a chain reaction of idea-making. This is the network effect applied to your learning and ideas. And it turns out this is how our brains work. A lot of research has been done into this over the last 20 to 30 years, and I've linked to an article called Teaching the Science of Learning, which summarizes a lot of it. Fitting new knowledge into an existing knowledge network helps to develop deeper understanding, and summarizing in your own words something that you've read or watched also improves memory and understanding. This would be a good time for me to recommend the book Make It Stick, Teaching the Science of Learning, which discusses these methods and others in detail. I think Obsidian will transform your learning workflow and outcomes. This is what you should do. Install and start using it. Don't create any complex systems at this stage. Just start a new note and write. What should you write? Something that interests you, a thought about a topic you're learning, or a summary of a book, or a course chapter that you're doing, or a link to a YouTube video with a brief explanation of the video and why you liked it. Tag it. You do that by writing a hashtag and then a word. Those tags will form some of the links in your network. And then create another note. Can you link the new note to the previous one? And just keep working with it like that, creating and growing your network. The links between different thoughts and notes will start to inspire new ideas. As you become more comfortable, you can develop a more sophisticated workflow, or you can adopt systems by other people. There's the Zettelkasten method, which is effective, but a little confusing for beginners. There's a book on the Zettelkasten method called How to Take Smart Notes, which uh, I wouldn't recommend it for beginners. Just start with the basics, get to know how to make notes, link notes, and use tags, and then explore. As you get more confident, you can explore some of the other Obsidian features like the canvas and plugins. There's a lot to discover. Obsidian has inspired me to develop my network as fast as I can. I'm currently working through my library, summarizing all my books and going back through my notes, putting them all into Obsidian. If that weren't enough to convince you, there are lots of other reasons that I really like Obsidian. The notes Data is stored on your machine in plain text files. It's private, and there's no proprietary format that could be a problem in the future. You can also sync it with your mobile phone. You do have to pay for that feature, but it does mean that you can use Obsidian whilst not sitting in front of your computer. My biggest regret is I didn't have a system like this years ago. Go to obsidian.md, download it, and then work through the Getting Started section of the Help page and then get started. 
you're watching this video, which probably means you're interested in coding and data analysis, which can be quite difficult. But there is a free and easy way to learn them from Brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video. If you want to become a more effective learner, then you'll love Brilliant. It's the best way of learning math science and data science interactively. We learn by doing. You can watch a video about how to tie a shoelace again and again, but you'll only learn it when you give it a try. And it's exactly the same with coding and data analysis. Interactivity is at the heart of Brilliant. Their interactive questions challenge you. They make you think about the subject in different ways. And with each interactive question, you're deepening your understanding. Brilliant has thousands of lessons going from beginner to advanced. So whatever your level, there'll be something there for you. You can learn computer science, AI, data science, or neural networks. Data skills are in high demand, and you can learn these with their new Data Analysis Fundamentals course, where you get to work on analyzing and drawing inferences from real data. With Brilliant, you can build a daily learning habit to future-proof yourself. Try it free for 30 days by going to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer, or just click on the link in the description. And the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription.